What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about 30 different altcoins in, tonight, in tonight's video. Uh, I am going to be breezing through them, giving just a general quick analysis, telling you what, what my short-term predictions are. Um, unless you've specified otherwise and are asking for a like cycle high prediction, in which case I'll go over that briefly too. Uh, with, with this many requests, I am, again, I'm just going to kind of breeze through it. So if you want a more in-depth analysis or if it, if it didn't answer questions or you have other questions you want to ask, feel free to request those as well. But this is just, you know, the general request night. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to leave a list in the description of all the coins that we're going over uh, with their tickers, right? Like this is FitFi, so I'll spell out FitFi in the description and then I'll leave a timestamp with when I start talking about it so you don't have to click around randomly. Uh, if you guys could hit the like button and subscribe to the content, it, it helps the channel grow. It's it's good for, uh, yeah, it's good for the channel and I, I really do appreciate that. Um, I've got nothing else to say, so let's get started and, and mosey on through this. This might take a second. Even, even, at, even at two minutes a pop, one minute a pop, which is hard to keep it to. Uh, that, that could that could take some time. So let's let's do that. Fit by at 0.27 cents, looking like you're coming in for a double bottom. Could be an even atom. You might have an eve, and you might add them out of here. Um, it, it it's possible. Something to consider. Uh, short term though, looking at the daily RSI, it looks like you want to come down a little bit more. Four hour RSI would suggest that as well. I would expect you're very near your low, but let's call for like a double bottom, if not like something with how weak your four hour and your daily are and with what you're doing right now and with what I kind of expect to happen over the next couple of days, I think it's possible that you could find a double bottom or even a slightly lower low than that. But soon, very, very soon, you're gonna start moving up, I would think. That's, that's fifth, I would think. Um, <clears throat> if not, let's see. Oh man. If I'm wrong, if you close this week or close multiple days below 0 0.00265, you close below there, then I'm I'm wrong and you're you're going lower. You're not going to have a V-shaped recovery. This is not a bottoming pattern and this thing wants nothing but death. Um if I'm wrong. So just stuff to keep in mind there. That's that's fit five. Let's move on to GTC. That was two minutes right there. See, I'm, I'm already keeping it at an hour's pace with this video. GTC. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Talking about the uh, fit five for Dell, GTC for Keltinger. And then I'll give shout outs along the way. That way we can just kind of keep it casual. Uh, low to high. GTC is at its 1272 area consolidating around here. With the way it looks and with how last week closed and with the weekly RSI and the daily RSI, I wouldn't be too terribly surprised if you went lower, all right? And with this kind of look, with this consolidation where it's at, it wouldn't be crazy to move all the way down to the one the, the one six one eight at 35 cents. You're at 58 cents now. Perhaps you hold 46 cents, but it's looking a little bit bleak for GTC, unfortunately. Um, I suppose you do have bullish divergence on your daily RSI. No, you don't. Okay, so uh, at any rate, it looks like you just broke out of the zone. Not a lot of volume, so I don't, I don't know if you'll get follow through. If if today, and you're already up to date, if today doesn't follow through with some volume, then perhaps you're resolved of going down here. Just with the way it looks, I would I would kind of expect that. But if not, if you can hold the line literally right here and not give any more ground, cool. Then then you're done. You break above this high, then cool. That's your low, and you're moving up higher uh, eventually. So just stuff to keep in mind. But with the way the chart looks, all things considered, I, I would expect you move lower. Again, those targets are somewhere around. Uh, 47 cents, 35, 36 cents, something like that. That's GTC. H bar for the determined, <clears throat> very determined. Uh, let's see. Looking at it on a weekly basis, H bar here. Coming down a good bit of a ways, yes. From a low to a high, all the way down to your 1414 area, nice. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's your low. You could go a little bit lower as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's your low. That's a very massive uh, red candle that you just had last week, right? Pretty big candle. Not a lot of volume. In fact, it's less than average volume for a week. It's it's the, it's smaller than you had the previous week, right? So I, I think this will get given back real quick. I think this is a bear trap is what this is. Um, if not a bear trap, some kind of just higher low, whatever you want to call it. But if we look at the relative low to high here, yeah, you're right at an area that you could see support. If not, maybe 4.65 cents or 4.46 cents, you could come to some kind of double bottom. But I think uh, it's the same old song and dance for the rest of these, right? Probably moving down a little bit and then up. 
you're very close, very, very close, but probably a little bit more to the downside. That's what I would expect. Okay, H bar. <clears throat> oh, but you wanted, I'm sorry, the determinants, you wanted cycle highs. Well, there's a short-term analysis for you. Cycle highs. Um, what I think HVAR is going to do for the cycle high, just based off this, if we were to see new all-time highs, and I, I think HVAR can see new all-time highs, $1.21 to $3.15, you're at 4.8 cents right now. That's your target area. That'd be anything, I mean, from the current price, if you were to see new all-time highs, and again, I think you were, the minimum expectation is like a 23X, 24X from here. HBAR might be a good buy, you guys, uh, to potentially a 63X, something like that. Let's just see if that's even possible real quick. These uh, cycle predictions take a little bit more time, but that's okay. There's some that, that won't take as much time. Um, 1.7 billion. <clears throat> You've been around. This is your second bull cycle, right? So one full bear cycle, one full, one full bull cycle. I'd give it to you that you could see a $100 billion market cap or around there, or even a little bit above there. A 63 and a half X on 1.7, that's, that's over 100 billion. So yeah, I, or it's, a, it's about 100 billion, wouldn't it be? <clears throat> I would think so. Probably over 100 billion. I think you could. I think you could see this. Any, anything in this range is totally, totally doable. Certainly, I would expect at least a dollar 21, but we'll see how far it goes. Um, and at any rate, again, a 63x, yes, is possible for HBAR this cycle by the end of 2025. I, I very much believe so. And at least a 24x, 23x. So you've got some solid gains ahead of you. Great time to buy HBAR, you guys. Absolutely phenomenal time to buy HBAR, man. I should make a, a, a separate video for HBAR, but yeah, looks really good. Um, <clears throat> Get it while it's hot. SHX, Stronghold, Tether. We'll do it on Mex C. <clears throat> stronghold, not Stronghold, Tether. Stronghold. Now, this, this is going to be a little bit different, uh, the determined. This will be a little bit different because you don't have as much historical data here, right? I don't know. Let's, let's just look it up real quick. SHX, right? I know nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come on now about the fundamentals on this, okay? <clears throat> right, we don't even have a fully diluted valuation or total supply, so like it's, it's not, it's at an $18.6 million market cap right now. We don't know what the, the tokenomics are apparently, right? I, I would assume, yeah, we don't, we don't know what the tokenomics are, so they'd have that data in there if they did. Um, I would assume great growth is possible for this thing at the same time, this isn't something I would want to put a lot of money into, right? It's it's worth 18 million. Let's say it was to be worth a one billion dollar market cap, which is a a goal. That's that is a significant goal, very significant milestone for any chart, for any stock, crypto, whatever. But it's achievable. It's an achievable goal. Let's say this thing can hit a very achievable goal, and maybe it's not achievable this cycle. Maybe it is. I don't know. But let's let's give it. Okay, a billion dollars is achievable. Even this cycle, it is. But let's let's cut it in half. Let's say 500 million. Let's just do that. 18 million to 500 million. Let's just say you're at 20 million now. So then a 10x would be 200. 20x would be 400. 25x. Essentially a little bit over a 25x. Something between a 25 and a 30x could be possible for this thing. And being that it's so low, I think a 25 to 30x from here. I mean, looking at H bar with a 1.7 billion, I I think that you could go higher. So may, maybe a billion dollar market cap is possible. Maybe. But that would still, am I doing the math wrong? I've got to be doing the math wrong, right? No, no, I'm doing it right. Yeah, okay, because because a 1.8 billion from 18 million would be a 100x. That's, I was doing my math wrong. Okay, so we're, we're still in the realm of normality here. So yeah, something around 17 to 25 cents, I suppose is possible, but that's a very rough guess, man. I don't, I don't know. It's too no, it's too new to really guess. All I can tell you is where I think your next high is going to be. And this is not going to be the cycle high, but somewhere between 2.6 to 5 cents, maybe as high as like 17 cents or 32.7 cents. That could be your next high. Like by the end of the year, you could see that kind of stuff. It's such a low market cap. You could, you might not, it might, it, it might never go above these highs again. I don't know. It's too it's too low. It's too new to really say. I probably shouldn't have even given an a, a long term analysis on this one because I, I just really can't do it. Right. Anything that I've said is a straight guess. Just so you know, um, and to to the best of my abilities for what what I've got going right now. Store X. Store X token is it SRX? Is that what it is? SRX. <laughs> Store X. Bitmart. All right. SRX. Looking like it's got some volume, hey, but I don't know about Bitmart. I don't I don't know too much about 
that exchange. Um, are there readings reliable? 25 million, very low market cap as well. You know, you can get a lot of growth with these low market cap coins, that's for, that's for sure, but will this be one of those that does that? That's, that's the question to ask. I wanna look, see if we can find a coin, SRX, that, is it not? Why is it pulling up PopCat? I don't think I've ever looked at PopCat. Probably should have, it's doing all right for itself. SRX, why are you, why, why are you being so weird, deck screener? Don't you know I'm trying to make this fast? X. Ain't no SRX. So this is the only chart that we have, I think. Doesn't make any sense. Store X. Because you've got this right here. It's on Lunar. Okay, so whatever. SRX. We'll do SRX. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know the determined. I'd give it the same kind of analysis, right? It could maybe it could see a one billion dollar market cap. Maybe it only sees a one hundred million dollar market cap. You can base your uh, price targets off of that, but I'm not going to give an analysis on this. We, there's nothing really. You want me to do the, the high to the low? I can do that for you. Uh, Eighteen point four cents to forty three cents, and then deeper targets at two dollars eleven cents, four dollars ninety ninety one cents. I suppose any and all of those are achievable, or even none of them are achievable. But I, I, it's too new to really make long-term calls like that, unfortunately, my friend. Um, I know that's not what you wanted. You wanted long-term calls with those, but that's 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 the reality. That's I'm not a I'm not a magician. I'm not a genie. As much as I want to be, as much as you want me to be, I'm not. I'm not. But uh, I appreciate you. I hope you know the, the determined. You know I love you, man. Uh, <clears throat> Let's uh, let's get on here. Amp for Fonzie. AMP for Fonzie. Classic. Is Coinbase the best one? Man, Bitstamp is always behind, isn't it? Is, is Coinbase ahead of Gemini on that one? All right. Gemini, maybe. Binance. Nope. All right. We're going to use Gemini. Gemini, and I'm going to make sure. Why? Oh, it's because it's USDT. That's why. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the right. Yeah, you can see me. Okay. So, Amp. In the spirit of all things, let's see. I would expect that it holds support in this area. I would expect even that you close the month above this red line. So you're, you're probably going to close the month green is my thoughts, just just based on the FIB itself, okay? But but for where you are right now, looking at the weekly RSI, I think you have some downside to go. You just had a bearish engulfing candle, sub-average volume, so it's not going to be sustained. I don't think you're going to get a lower low. I think you have a little bit lower to go just a little bit lower. And you might not even close this week red. You might close it green. But for the daily RSI, it looks like you want to go lower. You're at the base of this range. Four hour looks like you want to go lower. You might break this range a little bit. And you perhaps you already have. From a low to a high, let's call for 0 0.00345 to 0 0.0333 as a start with the possibility of going to 0 0.00299, 0 0.003157 in that range. But I would have a heavy focus on this range here. I think you will. A lot of cryptos have been doing this thing though, where they'll rip right through their six one eight and hit, hit their seven eight six. So if it does break through the zone, don't don't be scared. I know you won't. I know you'll just buy more, but uh, that's that's what I expect for AMP in the coming days, less than two weeks. I would expect ETC for Fonzilla Ethereum Classic here on Coinbase. Sure, we can do that. Um, weekly RSI would suggest you go down. Price action, same thing. A lot of things had this, right? This, and it tells me, I, I really do, I'm, I'm curious actually. What's the uh, crypto fear and greed index at? Wow, people are shitting themselves, huh? So we, pardon my language. I've been letting that fly, guys. I try to keep it clean, I really do. I know a lot of you don't care. I don't care myself either. That's why it's so hard. But I know there's people out there that do. And I, I wanna, I want to, respect them too, right? We're here to talk about TA. If my language is the thing that's forbidding people from wanting to watch my videos, I, that's that's just not a good enough reason for me to curse in my opinion. So, and I know some people do, right? I love Eric Crown. If you watch Eric Crown's channel, uh, Crown Crypto, He's, he's a great uh, technical analyst, by the way. He's, he's a good mind. He's not always right. Nobody is, of course, but he's, he's, he's pretty damn good. Uh, he's, he's a very smart guy. Uh, he cusses all the time. If you can't handle cussing, don't watch his channel. But I love, I love that guy. I think he's a great mind. Um, and, you know, to each their own. But for me, it's just it's not enough of a hill to die on to prevent people from, from learning or getting involved or, or you know, any, any of that stuff. But enough philosophizing. I found out what I needed to find out, damn it. Dang it, darn it, shoot. <laughs> uh, 1771 is our price right now for Ethereum Classic. Looking like you want to move down, yeah, a little bit. But again, looking like everything else because we're, we're in this fear phase, whoops. But we also have this like 
obviously a bearish engulfing candle would make you fearful, but it's not substantiated by any volume. And this is on Coinbase. Is there something? Could we use Binance? A little bit more volume there relative to the exchange. It's not on USDT, I would say no, that's not a substantiated move. So I, I don't think you're going to move too much lower. I don't think so. I think you're going to work within this range from a low to a high, maybe even from this high. No, that's that's too. Okay, so you might be at your low now, man. If this area of 1744 to 1707, or even just where you were late yesterday, wasn't enough of a low, then 1659 to 1610 is where you go, but then up, you're very close. Everything, I'm assuming generally most of these coins, you guys, are going to look like this. Because um, I've been looking at the markets all day and they all they all have that same look, except for Xano, except for Xano at the request of slow key. Uh, this one is moving up. This one looks very damn good, actually. Wow, yeah, you have some bearish divergence. You'll probably move down to where that divergence formed down here, right? But look at that, that's just a higher low in your parabolic looking structure, bro. You look so good. Keep it up. I love the volume. I like the readings on the daily RSI. This looks great. Oh, wow. Xano, Xano, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that one Roger Veer is talking about. This is the one smooth operator too. I remember, yeah. If you guys like Bitcoin Cash, if anybody, if it, any Dragon Riders out there, check out Xano. Of course it's moving up, man. This is one of those coins that like, you hear about it. The first time you hear about it, I forget when I heard about it. It was probably sometime in this range, right? Definitely could have bought it here, could have bought it anywhere. But now you're looking at it and you're like, you knew it was gonna go up. Why didn't I freaking buy it? And it's such a low, such a low cap too if i remember like this thing this is good stuff guys like this is this is the kind of if it takes off if it gains traction this is the kind of uh crypto that could compete with any peer-to-peer -peer system out there 86 and a half million and it's up so much recently oh my goodness it's got it's got more going to go if it's looking like this while well, the rest of crypto dude yeah most cryptos are forming like they're near their cycle lows or they're they're like having some kind of higher low or even having lower lows. This thing's setting new cycle highs already, like phenomenal too, like phenomenal growth in a very short amount of time from a low point to the high point, 234%, right? This is the weekly chart. That was back in June. Here we are. You know, how many things have moved up that amount that much? They've moved down like more than that in that amount of time. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm geeking a little bit here. Just because I like, I like the project. I like what they're about. Okay, uh, from a high to a low, you are above the one two seven two. With how freaking phenomenal you look, it would not surprise me. You're at five ninety five now. It wouldn't surprise me if this party didn't stop till six sixty or higher. I, I am accepting of the idea that you could see deeper extensions, even deeper than these prices. Sure, you could see like upward to fourteen dollars. Sure, I'm, I'm more under the impression that you're going to stop between six sixty and eight dollars, though. That's, that's kind of my expectation right now. If I really, 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 really had to guess. But we'll see. You know, we'll definitely see. You, you tore through it, man. You look really good. So I just, just keep it up. Um, more upside. That's all I got to say. Any downside from here will be negligent, or I don't even know if that's the right word. Just who cares? It'll be a level of who cares compared to the upside you have, right? Maybe down to 530, 560. You have 595. If you want to buy, you know, it might not hurt to wait like a day, maybe. But dude, it looks really good. This is this this uh slow key. Thank you for requesting this. Shout out to Smooth Operator on that note too, if you're seeing this one, buddy. Uh this is a good one, man. This might be the winner. This genuinely might be the winner. Um, I'm gonna keep in mind the percentage. It's definitely the best looking chart. It might be the best looking chart that we'll look at in this whole video, actually. And I've spent so much damn time talking about it, but let's see, at least 10% at least to potentially 35%. That's significant for what could be happening for the most, most of crypto in the space. Most of them are gonna move down. I'm gonna go check on what's going on out there. Hold on, guys. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if you guys even heard that, but that was that was very loud. Uh, dog sounded like he was in distress, but he was just being held by his owner, a kid. I don't know. 
Um, everything looked fine, just a loud dog. Anyways, uh, Xano, yeah. Xano, yeah. Um, SLP, USD. Smooth love potion, right? Okay, so, and you don't want me to do long term on this, thankfully, because I don't, I don't know if I could. Um, <clears throat> I like, I like what you're doing here. It looks constructive. It looks, it looks like you will inevitably see prices that are higher, right? Uh, so just have faith in that. But for the time being, you might be moving down first, just like most crypto. What did you have the same week that everything else had? Yeah, you did, right? Not, not above average volume, though a little bit closer to average. But uh, let's see. If you look at this low to high and we take this low to high here, the bull trap or whatever you want to call that. Look at that. 1272, 1414 lining up perfectly in that golden zone. 786 at the 1618. The lowest you would go is 0 0.002065. Potentially at at least I would expect you to go to 0 0.0022. Okay. At least there. Down and then up. That's that's what we're thinking. A higher low is what I'm calling for for SLP. Okay. Uh, that is for Def W M B C H. Did I spell that right? Def W M B C H. All right, LTC. Uh, Litecoin as well. <clears throat> Litecoin. I forget. This this almost looks like some kind of harmonic, and maybe it is some kind of harmonic pattern, perhaps. Um, if it were, then you'd be respecting this fib, right? Hey, hey, maybe. Maybe, maybe, man. Maybe it is a harmonic. I'm not going to spend time looking that up, but maybe on my next Litecoin video I will. Um, that can be something for that. Oh, yeah, you look good. You look very good. Um, down, yes. I'm skeptical right now if you'll even see a lower low than this, but if you do, that would surely be the low. That would surely be the last low, right? But you, one, two, three, four. You, you, might, you might have one more move down. Okay, one more little move down, and where would you go? Probably right there, wouldn't you? Yes, you freaking would, yeah. Between $57 and $55. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, LTC. A little bit lower. A little bit lower first. Yeah, and that's okay. A little bit lower. This one I could be wrong on, right? This is It gets the same kind of general idea that the rest of them do, but this, it could move up. The only reason I'm saying it goes down is because you've got one, two, three here, four. It would just make sense for five, I think. Though I guess five isn't a corrective wave. I don't, I'm not the best on Elliott waves, but I, I don't know, man. I'm just thinking it deserves a fifth leg, and then we move up. That's my thoughts. Anyways, uh, LTC rune for AB Lisa or Ab Lisa. Uh, rune on Kraken. Is it better on, let's see. We're just looking at the short-term stuff, so we can just use Binance. Looking like you want to move down. Yeah, absolutely. Low to high. Probably down to 366 Three dollars and five cents, three dollars six cents, something in that zone. What's what's the four hour look like? <clears throat> yeah, I think you've got lower to go. I wouldn't. Don't be too sad if you move below three sixty six. Okay, you you really could go down to three three nineteen, three oh six, whatever that is down there. You really might see that, and that could happen over the next like week and a half or so. So don't be discouraged if that happens. Um, you even look like you've got a little like head and shoulders right here, right? I don't know, but maybe not, maybe not. On a four hour perspective, it might look a little bit more like it kind of, but the volume's wrong, whatever. Anyways, down, down for Rune. KCS, KuCoin shares. Looking like it wants to move up over the weeks, down over the days, and probably down over the hours as well. Yes. You're going to get the same kind of run through that everything else gets. <clears throat> you could hold $7.73, $7.73, but you might be going all the way down to $7.15 to $7, somewhere in that zone. Don't be sad if you close a day below here. In fact, if you close a day below that low daily close there, that could be the bottom itself or your, your higher low. This was the low, right? But your higher low. Um, so down. Down to anywhere between $7.73 to seven dollars itself that's that's what i would say kcs uh, xmr <clears throat> xmr monero baby at the request of ski doc 
no, no, I'm sorry, Danny Flowers. 170 is the price right now. It's looking frisky, man. This thing is so ready. It's so freaking ready to break out. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, frick yeah. F and A, Cotton. F and Y, frick yeah. It's, it's looking like it wants to move up. Probably to 273, 308 very soon. It's gonna be it's gonna be explosive, man. Like it's gonna be very very fast. It's gonna be the most bullish candles that you've seen. Probably, I mean, obviously since the last bull cycle. Yeah, you're about to get those. I think so. And you might not stop there. You could go as high as like 427. Let's just say 430. You could. But I would expect you find resistance here at the 618 area, resistance zone there, right? Find some resistance, come back, find support, and then boom, move up and get on with your life. All right, so in the short term, I would say up. This is one of the only other, this is actually the only other chart besides Xano so far that looks like it wants to move up before it moves down, so. <clears throat> but I don't think it'll move up more than Xano. I mean, it could, it, it really could. It's got breakout potential where Xano's already toward the end of its breakout, possibly, probably. Um, but Monero moves slow. I would still think Xano would be the winner. But this this one looks it looks good. It looks like it wants to move up. Okay. And I know I was giving you breakout targets. I'm not giving you targets that are closer to here because I mean obviously you're gonna hit 196, 200 dollars, and then and you, you're not just gonna move up in a straight line. You could you could move up very fast, but this is on a monthly perspective. I genuinely think that you're moving up right now over the days, over the weeks, over the months to 273, 308. That's just, I think you're in the middle of a move right now that's about to take you up there. That's my thoughts. Probably by the end of the year, probably. Or higher, or higher. That's my thoughts. SUI, USD, sweet for Mohamed El Mensi. Mohamed, we're doing this one for you, my friend. We're doing it again. I, I promise you I did it the last time. Uh, not the last video, but the, the one before I did talk about it. From a low point here to a high point, we're not going to get the fake out high. Right down to your 786, 886 area, and then up to your 382. Bearish engulfing candle above average volume. Wow. Above average volume. Most charts don't look like that. Oh, pretty average too. Huh, there's a lot of selling pressure on SWE. That's probably because there's, it, it was the the dumb money going into it recently. So there's a lot of paper hands in it right now. If you bought SWE within the last four weeks, may, maybe not exactly four weeks ago, or I guess four weeks ago would have been here. So yeah, four, within the last four weeks, then you are part of the dumb money. And that's okay, man. We've all been part of the dumb money. I'll, we'll probably all be part of the dumb money at some point again, right? I'm not trying to insult anybody. That's just a term. All I'm saying is finding resistance at your 382, previous area of support here, previous area, like kind of of your originating price there, rejecting it, you know, it, it makes sense that you'd see that, rejecting your 50 area. It, it's, it's kind of a expected area to find resistance. Lower volume, yeah, this, this downside should have been seen. Um, it looks like you've got more to go, okay? But on the bright side, I don't think it's going to be too, too much. I think, you know, 69 cents to 61.3 cents holds. You're at 77.8 cents now. Don't let this bad week scare you because it's probably scared a lot of people out, right? A lot of people that bought in this range right up here, like literally that bought up in this range, they've sold probably most of them that bought up here sold on this, on this dump. People are panicking. And if they haven't, they will continue to sell, right? And you can see that with the volume, right? There's a good bit of volume that came in, more more volume than that. Not the most volume that we saw, but there's probably some selling that went on up here as well. Um, every sell is a buy though, so like what, what's even the point of saying that? But but, <clears throat> anyways, downside, don't be scared. Don't be paper hands, right? There's a lot of, I think the reason why it had more volume where most coins right now, they have this bearish engulfing weekly candle, but they have below, like way below average volume, but this one has more is because SUI, SWE, has been one of those coins I've heard talked about over the last month, like August. It seemed to be the hot coin that every YouTuber seemed to agree that it was a good time to buy it for whatever reason, and especially the last two weeks, right? And and uh, so, so I'm sure there's a lot of dumb money for that reason in this thing, and dumb money gets scared. Dumb money is paper hands. Don't be dumb money. Hold. Hold. Buy more. You know, I think it's going lower. Don't sell here. Absolutely freaking not, man. You should have sold at a dollar. The people that sold up here were geniuses. You're dumb if you sell here. Don't be dumb. Just be patient. Be patient. Be smart. Be tactical. Because you never know when that could happen. Caesar's wrong, right? 
And then you're blaming some guy on YouTube that you've never met in real life for the fact that you sold right here at a terrible time to sell, literally halfway through a down move, and the move just didn't complete and it decided to go up because that happens too. So don't sell. Don't take my bearishness as a token of selling. If you want to do that, that's on you. you may, it'll probably work out. I bet if you sold here and then you bought lower, it'd probably work out. But if I was holding SWE or any coin that looked like this, I wouldn't sell here. I would just buy more. This is not the place to sell. The place to sell is up here in the promised land, right? We're not there yet. <clears throat> Promises are not meant to be broken. Hold it. Hold it, right? Hash AI. <clears throat> At the request of Weld's Xanofabs. Weld's Xanofabs. Uh, man, did I even give... I don't even think I actually gave the list in the introduction now that I'm remembering. I don't think I did. I don't think I gave the list out in the introduction. I'm not going to use Poloniex. I don't like their charts, man. They just don't. They don't have enough liquidity. It doesn't. It doesn't represent the chart accurately. Um, for whatever reason, low to high, down at your one six one eight area, finding support there, looking good. Yes, maybe bullish divergence. Yes, yes. If you close today green, you got bullish divergence. You got about twenty hours left. But yet, dude, this would look really good. I'm calling for a low. Yesterday, calling for a low right here. Calling for it. It's happening. That's your low. Yeah, calling for it. <clears throat> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I don't think I will be. I think you're moving up. This one could be a winner potentially. Let's look at what its, it's recoil is going to be. I don't think it's going to be too dramatic. Anything between 0 0.00064 and 0 0.00076 will go from there. But the immediate move up, I would think, would be anything like that. Could be the winner. I'm just not, I'm not as certain. Xano's in the midst of a breakout move. This could take time. Right, where Xano won't take time. So so definitely looking good, looking like you want to move up in the short term. And potentially after that, you know, maybe you maybe you move up higher, but, but time will tell. But let's let's just say for now up, probably around this area, right? <clears throat> and uh, we'll go from there. Hash AI. ZKML for Marcos Izquierdo. Marcos, I didn't forget about this one, actually. I just didn't, I didn't, uh, it wasn't the time. It wasn't the time to make that uh, ZKML update for me. I had other requests I was going through. Because um, I have so many, man. I'm still behind, you guys. Still behind from whenever I took that three-day period on requests. It's crazy. If you guys have noticed on YouTube how I'm re responding to comments that are like six days old, that's never happened before. I've got, I've just got so many comments, so many things to go through uh, with this channel. It just, it, it takes a lot of time. It literally takes, I spend hours going through the comments, you guys, to make sure that I get these requests done. That's why too, if anybody's like, does he hate me? Why is he always leaving like a three word reply? I don't hate you. I don't hate you. Don't be insecure. Come on now. <clears throat> I just don't, I don't want to spend hours and I already do spend hours on comments, man. Um, I have to like literally set time aside for it every single day. Uh, low to high. Enough of my yapping, though, man. Looks like ZKML, man. Marcos, this thing's not looking as good as it once was. Let's, and this is the daily, too. Yeah, I think you're going lower. I think so. I don't, I don't think you hold this area. To me, I would expect that you go down to about 12 cents. If not, you're going down as low as 9.3 cents. That's my thoughts for ZKML. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it wants to go down now. The past week has not been good for it. That's for damn sure. A little bit lower. That's okay. A little bit lower. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more look real quick, okay? Maybe you hold at 13 cents. Maybe you hold there. I could see that. You could hold 13 cents, okay? But a little bit lower still, nonetheless. That's, that's my thoughts for ZKML. Next is Aurora Network. On Coinbase, sure. RSI, bullish divergence, yes. Yeah, bullish di you got double bullish divergence there. Interesting. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's look at the four hour. I like it. Okay, if I'm wrong in what I'm about to say, 
then maybe you go down here. Maybe you go to 11.1 cents, but that's it. That's it. A little bit lower than that low, just a little bit. Still higher than this low. If you go below that line, barely, okay? But 11.1 cents, that's it. That's what I'm thinking. If you go lower, okay? But I don't think you are. I think you are going to move up today. Or if not today, at least tomorrow. I mean, I, I think you'll move up today, man. I don't know. You're, you're going to start moving up. Let's just say that, okay? That's the expectation. We've established it. Low to a high, 618. Golden retreat. Beautiful, bro. So great. So perfect. Love it. Next target area based on this fib would be 18.6 to about 26 cents. Based on this fib, 21 cents, 33, 38 cents. I like that 21 cent area. Probably like 18.6 to 26 cents. I like I like that zone. That's probably where you'll go. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I would he heavy emphasis on that 18.6 because you have resistance and support here, right? Going back, right, if we put a line right here, right there at that 0.5, pretty close to it. Support, resistance, support back here, right? A little, little bit of significance for the for the small amount of history this thing has. So probably around 18 to 20 cents is where your next move is going to go. You're, you're going to start that soon, like right now, right now. I think, I think you have your low. And if I'm wrong, a little bit lower, just a little bit lower. But you're looking good. What is that? It's a lot, man. It's a lot in what I would assume would be a short amount of time. Could be the winner. Aurora <clears throat> might be the winner. Only thing is I'm not certain that you're absolved of this, right, of going a little bit lower first. And the, the winner is always determined by who's going to go up the most in the shortest amount of time. Normally, like I'd say, like within a week's time, a few days' time, stuff like that. I'm very confident Xano is going to move up more over the coming days. I'm not as confident this thing moves up immediately. Pretty confident, but not as confident. Anyways, something to consider, right? Um, <clears throat> and Xano could it could it could definitely exceed what I'm giving it credit for. It's in the middle of the, it. It's literally in the, a breakout phase right now. It's proving itself to be what it's setting out to be, at least as far as price action is concerned. Near protocol. Near protocol. Also at the request of. AJMZ. AJ, I'm sorry I didn't give you a shout out on the last one, but we're giving you a shout out now. High to low here. 0.5 rejected down to your 236. That is not a good look. Not a lot of volume on that move down, but more volume than the week before. Let's go to USDT on Binance and get a better look at this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Lower. I think so for near. Yes, lower. Yeah, yeah. From a low to a high, you probably go down to about 352 to three dollars and fifteen cents, somewhere in that zone. If you go lower, you have prices at two fifty six to two thirty waiting for you. That's near. Uh, PNG for Ike H. PNG. Pangolin. Let me know, you guys. Uh, if you're if you're still watching this, let me know what you think in the comments. Is it Better to go over the list of coins verbally in the beginning. I forgot to today. I th I'm pretty sure I forgot to, unless I'm forgetting that I did it. But I feel like that would. I feel like I just forgot to say it. If if I just didn't give the list, is that better for the flow of the video? Or do you guys like the list? I feel like it's nice so people can hear it. You know, it's it's a little bit of a part of the introduction. I get it. You know, sometimes it takes time, but I don't know. I'm I'm more curious what you guys think because who cares what I think, man? It's what it's what you guys think that makes the channel better, right? If if most of you think without the list is better, I'll do that. If most of you think with the list is better, I'll keep doing that. You know what I mean? Because that um, I'm here I'm here to uh, to get views, man. I'm here to get views and subscribers, and you guys you guys are are the perfect feedback. So leave in the comments if uh, if you liked that or you were like, hey, hold up, I I kind of wish you gave that list verbally. Because I'll leave it in the description. You know, most of you probably already figured that out. People are still watching that by now. But 23 cents is what you're at now. Low to high. Looking like you want to go lower. Yes, on the daily RSI. Yes, four-hour RSI. Looking like you want to go lower. You're having a little bit of a bounce here, of course. You have the bullish divergence. But really, it's hidden bearish divergence. Don't be swayed. Lower you're going to go. I think so. 19.7. Uh, let's just say 20 cents to 19 cents. Somewhere in that zone. Give or take like a half cent either way. And maybe you don't go that low, but I'm, I'm thinking you do. 20 cents to 19 cents, okay? That's PNG. <clears throat> Man, I think I'm closer to being done than I am. <coughs> B-chain, vet. Vet. 
Let's see. Maybe I'll take that low to the high. Yeah. What's your daily looking like? Oh, man. Wow. Lower, I think. Not just lower, relatively speaking, but lower in its price. Is this the best chart to use? I think so. I mean, you might be you might be at your low right now, actually. <clears throat> you might be at your low right now, man. If not, two cents to 19.6 cents could be where it is. If I'm wrong, maybe, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, 1.9 1, 1 to 2 cents. Sorry, I don't know if I said 19 cents. 1.9 to 2 cents. Um, 1.96 to 2 cents. If not, 1.7 cents, 1.5 cents could be an area that you're moving to. But I think you're actually at your low. I, I was thinking you were going to go lower than this, but I actually think that you're at your low. If not, you're very, very close. So moving up more likely to 2.32 cents is what I would expect over the coming days. Up, up, up. And overall, based on this consolidation here, high to a low. Yeah, next move would be, yeah, 2.8, 2.32 cents, whatever, somewhere in that zone, three cents itself, up, I think so. And if not, if I'm wrong, it's only a little bit of downside. <clears throat> Super Trump. Oh, vet was for God first, by the way. Uh, Super Trump at the request of Pash Kokolaj. Pash Kokolaj. Uh, from a high to a low, looking good. Looking good. Man, if you were holding and then that, that assassination attempt happened, that should have been your sell the news event right there. Um, probably, hmm. I think down. I think more down. Okay. Ah. Oh, down short term, but maybe not, maybe not lower. Maybe not lower than that low. I don't I don't think you go lower than that low, man. I don't. So up. Up is the real what we should be talking about, actually. High to low. See you at point zero zero eight six six. See there, up 382, significant phase of consolidation, right? From high to low, previous areas of support turn into current areas of resistance, something like that. Cool, yeah. And maybe move up a little bit higher, but two zeros, 866 is the target area, not the target precisely, it's the target area, right? If you go back and listen to any time I, tar I say target area for that reason. L LRT, USD, Land Rocker. <clears throat> All right. Owen Lee. This is at your request, my friend. Uh, and you guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. It, it helps the channel grow. I really do appreciate everybody who does that. Um, it's a very new chart, so don't hold me to it. I don't know, man. I don't know what to think of this thing. Let's look at the four-hour. I think you want to move up. I think you have a triple bottom, and it's not the prettiest looking thing, but triple bottoms rarely are pretty, and they're a rare thing in themselves. I don't call for them too often, but it happens. I think you have a triple bottom right now. I think you're gonna move up from here. I think this was like a false test of what's to come. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't have to be defined that way if you don't like the way that that's defined or the way I word, worded that, but from a high to a low, yeah, I bet you're moving up to 0 .002889, 0 .003036, that zone. That's your next move probably over the coming days. Daily RSI looks ready, productive, looks strong. Yeah, bullish divergence. 
looks like a triple bottom to me. And if it is a triple bottom, really what you're going to be moving off of would be, it's, it's debatable whether it would be this high to low or this high to low or the all-time high to low. Let's, let's just look and see. Okay, I like that. I like that respect you're showing. So really, when it comes time to breaking this high, you've got 0 .00567, 0 .0064 on the brain. And that, that would likely happen, I mean, by the end of this year, I would expect, if not earlier than that, right? Like you could see this happen over the next month. Potentially, maybe not, you know, maybe it takes multiple months to achieve, but at, at any rate, higher. Higher is what I think you've got going on. LRT, looking good. <clears throat> Call. Call, crow with knife. Man, I, I'm actually, I don't have a crypto.com account. I'm trying to set one up. They don't take passports, at least not if you're a United States citizen. They take IDs or licenses. And I'm sure I could work it. I've had this issue before with exchanges. I have my license. It's just a digital license. I don't have the physical one. I don't know where it is. I blame my wife. She says, how dare you blame me? So I don't blame her anymore. But, but to you guys, you can hear it, right? She doesn't watch these videos, I don't think. And if she does, this is the only time that I'll say this. But she, I, I'm pretty sure she lost my license. But man, enough of the personal stuff. Caw, 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 caw. Um, low to high here. 1618 support, nice, 618 resistance. You are showing some good stuff here, man. Probably down, probably down. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros, and then four threes right there. Probably find support right there, and then you move up. You could have found, this could be it. You could find support right here. This this really could be it. I don't have a problem with that. Hey, it's right there at your 6182. I really don't have a problem with that. That could be it. So let's, if, if you move down, it's a little bit compared to the upside that you have. <clears throat> And the upside that you have, at a minimum, I mean, dude, you're you're making a move. You're probably going to go above that 618 over the days, over the weeks, over the months. Dude, you're looking good, bro. Looking real good. Call. Call's looking good. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I like it. I think it's moving up. Punky. At the request of One Punch Willie, both of these, man. I'm, I'm like one behind on each of them, but. <clears throat> Punky, punk. High to low. Nope, that's not the low. I don't like it. It's not respecting that fib, and that's okay. I, I would expect that you would, but whatever. It's okay. Low to high, that was not the low. <clears throat> not really respecting that fib either. Kind of, but. In weird places, you, you might be doing some weird stuff. You might just have a different personality, Punky. I don't know what to make of this shape here at the top. So let's just look at the short-term stuff. Daily looks like you want to go down. Weekly looks like you want to go down. <clears throat> Four hour looks like you want to go down, so I think you're going down. Low there, high there, 24.36 cents to 21.6 cents, somewhere in that zone. If you break 21.6 cents, aka this low area, if you break that, we'll see you down as low as 19.67 to 15.24 cents. But I'm heavily emphasizing this area first, okay? Ponke. FTM, at the request of Mohamed El Mensi. Mohamed, we're doing this one for you too, my man. Uh, Phantom, come on now. Looking like it wants to move lower, yes, immediately. Daily, yes, looking like it wants to go lower, yes, 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 yes to everything, okay. Ooh, -hoo. maybe not that much though. You've got, you've got a weird kind of inverse head and shoulders set up here, maybe. It's a very big head, but the volume is perfect, and it, it looks clean enough, I think, if you hold support here. Now, the thing is, your resistance line was a little bit lower than this, so you could go a little bit lower. You might have a slanted inverse head and shoulders. Let's look and see if that lines up with any fibs, something that would be just below this low here. Let's see. Not really. <laughs> Not really. The 0.5 area, maybe you find support in, in an obscure area. But at this rate, based off the fibs, based on the price and the fibs, I would say something that's below 
over the coming days, over the coming weeks, right? You're moving down probably over the coming days, not multiple weeks, but like a week and a half, two weeks maybe. Come on, man. Give me, just give me this thing. Why, you see, it gives me the, the button, right? You can press the button here and hold it, except I can't, so it doesn't magnetize, right? It doesn't magnetize because it says add text right there. I don't know why it does this. It gives you the button when you're not near it. Look, right, you got the button right there. You got it, but you try to, you just can't. So then it moves it over here. I hate that, I hate that update. Um, it messes with me. Oh my goodness, especially whenever I, I lose the, the thing. Uh, let's see here, okay. There we go. Yeah, maybe you hold 37.5 cents, man. If not, 32.78 cents, 35, 37.5 cents, that's, that's the area that you're going to, but maybe you hold 37.5 cents. I could see that. Moving down, Phantom. Moving down and then moving up. NPC token, <coughs> non-playable coin, actually. Low to high, probably down to third. 1.3857 cents, probably down to there. That's my thoughts. Easy peasy on that one. Yeah, lower. Uh, and that's for Danny Cosmala. Yeah, probably down first, Danny, and then and then up, right? A little bit of down. I bet it's a higher low, and then up, probably, probably. NPC MNW <coughs> Morpheus Network. I remember this one, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened? What happened, Morpheus? Yeah, this was not in the cards back here when we were talking about it, right? Maybe it was back here that we were talking about it. And I, I know I flipped bearish on it, but I've, it's been a while since I've talked about it. Low to high. I didn't know it would go this low, man. I didn't expect this. That's for damn sure. Um, you look like you're at a good area to buy, good area to bottom. You could go lower, but maybe not. You know, hard to say. I like it. I like it as a low. I'm going to call that a low. We're going to stick with it. That's a low. Moving up to 93 cents. You're at 41.7 cents. That's your next target area, 93 cents. Looking good. Might be the winner, actually. Oddly enough. Danny Cosmala might might take the, the, the belt tonight, man. <clears throat> Unless Turbo, Compound, or Mana does better. Turbo for Eric Silva. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. It looks so good, man. I love this chart. Nope, that's we're not gonna do that. Okay, so did you just get listed on Kraken? Is that what I just saw? You just you just got listed on Kraken? Okay. That is a that's as bull flag as a bull flag can get, man. It's literally I I couldn't draw a better picture in my head, man. From from a low to a high. Measure move would be like this. Right? From like the low point of the some people measure from the breakout. I measure from the bottom of the flag. Take you up to 5.212 cents, man. Over the weeks, over the months, probably. Yeah, I could see that happening. Let's just see what you're doing immediately. Immediately. Immediately, if you move down any further, it won't be as significant as how much higher you have to go. I would expect that you form a higher low. Perhaps you do move down a little bit more. 0 0.00324 to 0 0.003 itself, somewhere in that zone, but that's it, man. You're very close, you're very, very close. A little bit more downside. So this stood a chance, actually, to be the winner. Uh, and it probably will be over the weeks and the months, but over the days and weeks, probably not. So so downside. Downside first, then upside, turbo. Compound for Jay Falico. <clears throat> $43.2, being boring, doing nothing. That sounds about right. We've been in this range for... Over two years, man. You could have bought this same price two years ago. Compound, the world's most stable stable coin. Um, probably gonna move up. Probably uh, might might move down first, just like everything else. I, I would expect it does, but probably gonna move up at some point. You know, just when is the question. So down first. You're at forty three twenty two. We might see prices as low as thirty five eighty two. Probably gonna hold around forty one to thirty nine dollars though. That's compound, and then working our way up. 
when we break out, it's going to be phenomenal. We're waiting on it. We're so patiently waiting on it. Same thing with mana, man. Both of these things. Patient. Got to be patient. Uh, Coinbase. Looking at it here. Yes, yes. Looking like you want to go lower. Same thing as the rest of them, right? Very bearish week. Not a lot of volume. Not a lot of volume at all to follow through with that. Daily RSI. Looking like it wants to go down. So you're going down, mana. Where are you going to? From a low to a high. I know BBL. Uh, I know you're like, if it goes to $0.06, cents, I'm done. I don't think it's going to $0.06, cents, but I think it'll hold... 22.66 cents. If not, it could hold this area that it's at now, actually. It could. It really could. This could be it, but I wouldn't be too surprised if it went to like 22.6 cents, 24.5 cents, somewhere in between there. But this, it also wouldn't be too surprising if this was the low. It really could be. Um, and that's that, guys. That's it. So absolutely, the winner tonight is Daniel, Daniel Cosmala. Uh, Danny Boy... N M N W Morpheus Network. That that one's absolutely the winner. So, congratulations there. Uh, you snagged it right at the end there, man. Zano for Slowkey. Slowkey, you were looking like you had it the whole time, man. Um, and I like Zano. I'd probably feel the most confident out of any of these to put money into Zano. That that'd be my most confident play. Absolutely, it would. But uh, that's not how the game works. It's not about my emotions. It's not about what I'm confident in. It's about what, what I'm confident enough in that we'll see growth, right? But if I was putting my money into something, I'd probably rather put money into Xano. I might wait for it to pull back. If I was to put money in Xano now, I'd probably look for a short-term trade and then like swing back into it at the low. Just wait for like a given back opportunity. But if I was looking to get into Morpheus, it's it's the right time. I think it's the right time to get into it for, for a longer-term hold too. So anyways... That's that. Hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.